is going on you guys welcome to today's video we are in a part of the world that i never really expected to go to but we're currently in the middle east so plans now to go find the rental car and then go pick up our special guest yo this place is massive and i'm like the only one i think in the right spot i should be in the right spot we'll see i have to find the rental car and i need to get wi-fi to a phone service yo this area is massive huge airport oh yes we made it we're at a hyundai i tried my best to get a volkswagen couldn't make it happen but we got a hyundai okay my friends we are almost there i had to go meet the guy by the gate he's gonna let me out this thing is automatic and good to go don't beep at me please we got us the hyundai i don't think it's turbo either he said follow the exit signs oh, we got sport mode though give her a little rip once we get out of here so the only issue is i have no phone service here i have wi-fi in the terminal like out here but i kind of just screenshot and like just preloaded the map so hopefully we make it to our destination boys we are out and about hopefully my uh <laughs> my map loads we got this though so the map thankfully is working we had about a 30 minute drive look how cool these uh, light poles are all lit up. This is sweet. The guy also said there's speed cameras everywhere and he was not kidding. They are everywhere out here. So gotta pay attention, go slow, get no tickets. But this is cool. This is a part of the world I never thought I would actually go to and actually be here. Like, this is cool. And these like neon light poles are amazing. This is cool. It's dark right now, you can't see much, but tomorrow I'll show you some more. This place to be cool. Yo, there is nobody in front of me. There is nobody behind me. So tempting just to rip it. I'm in a 120 uh, kilometer section, but there's cameras like everywhere. So it's not worth the risk it, but like there's nobody out here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We're doing it. We're in a 120 section. Let's put her in, put her in sport. We'll slow down a little bit. We'll do a, like a little 40 to 120 pull. I'll race this truck, ready? Three, two, one. Go, baby, go! Oh, she's slow. Come on! And 120, we're done. Hey, Yeah, he thought he had us. He thought he had us, but he didn't. Bro, there's still nobody on this road. I need a faster car. I also want to know, this is a six-lane highway. This is massive. Can you imagine the roll race you could have out here? Six wide? This is so cool. And I can't see anything the speed limit here is 120 i'm doing 60 and it's still slowing down because i just can't see anything where this came out of nowhere too it's kind of creepy no one behind me no one in front of me i can't see nothing a little sketch wow i actually can't see anything that's uh that's interesting so my exit's coming up but like legit i can't see anything no signs keep left at the fork. keep left at the fork okay well hopefully i see a fork on the ground because i can't see much else we're doing like 30 miles an hour bro i can't see anything this is crazy i'll just stay like right here at these lines and hopefully i see a fork in the road to go left i'm almost there keep left at the fork all right i'm trying oh i see some arrows here we go Bro, I can't see. Oh, there's a sign right there. <laughs> Dude, I can't see anything. This is wild. So, slight issue. I need to be over there, and I'm over here. But I kept left like she said, but uh, I need to be on that right up there. Fog's a bit better now, but I'm in the wrong spot, and I have no phone service. And, well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right. How do we make this work? So let me give you a status update. This is about to be an extremely long drive because this center section, this main highway I'm on, you can't get to any of these. I just junction back here. I just tried getting off here to turn around, um, but on this main highway, you can't get over there. And there's just desert and like drop off. You can't, there's no way to cross the median. So I'm gonna be on this road, uh, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I stayed left. She said stay left, and then she got me. 
and now I'm on this main highway for I don't know how long. Ah, <laughs> uh, sick, dude. I don't like this road anymore. I'm not a fan anymore. Next update, I still can't see anything. Driving extremely slow. Haven't seen any cars, and there is, there's no exits. There, dude, there's no exits. There's no, you can't get off this highway. I see mind, this is the stupidest highway of all time. I can't see anything, and there's no, zero. I haven't seen an exit, actually since I got onto here, there's, there's just no exits. There's none. It's just always a wall. I just want to get off. I need to turn around. I might just drive backwards down this road, to be honest with you. There's no one out here. I might just do it because, like, I'm going to drive around the entire country at this point. <laughs> this is crazy. I just want to turn around, please. All right, so we had a pull over for a second. Hey, look at the car. The first car I've seen, like, in forever. So the issue is I have no phone service. And there's also this just like the endless how you can't get off of. But there's a junction up here and I can go to the right and then fall all the way down and then right again and then back to the first road I was on and do like a gigantic loop back to here. I would go, I can go left up here as well, but the problem is I can't load this section. So trying to get off and get back on might be a nightmare. If I get onto this one, I have to go like, you know, across the whole country. I don't want to do that. So. We're about to do a massive loop back to the same road and uh, try us again. And this time when she says stay left, I'm not going to do that because she's a dirty liar and she's trying to ruin my night. It's also 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess take two. We're going to do a gigantic loop. Try and go. This is crazy. I'm about to drive so far. <sighs> All right. Well, here we go. All right. So <laughs> it is currently... 2.35 in the morning, currently sitting in a McDonald's. I needed Wi-Fi. Never made it to my destination yet. Uh, they're actually just an Uber here because the hotel we're staying at is in this area. I'm actually almost back to the airport. I drove for about an hour and 40 minutes in total, like around and back. Absolutely insane. Couldn't see anything, driving at like 30 kilometers an hour. <laughs> just, oh. <laughs> can't make this up so gonna wait here uh, our guests will be here in probably 30 40 minutes give or take and then uh it's been a long night dude a long night wait for it bam look at that one that's kind of dirty but not a bad view. Also, Silver Mark 6 Jetta right there. And wife. <laughs> Got you mid-dance too. So it is currently day three here in Doha. Haven't really explained why I'm here, what we're doing or why uh, this little bug's here. So quick update, she's on a deployment, a six month deployment out in the Middle East somewhere. Uh, got a little bit of time off, so we met here in Doha and now we're hanging out for like a week. Um, not a lot of time, but still when you haven't seen your wife in three months, it's the best, honestly. And look what she's got. I got her GoPro. So she got me this GoPro for the last 2019 Christmas, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And now I got her this one because she wants to do some video recording and that kind of stuff. So today we're going to the Cheesehead Factory, which is somewhere over, I think, on that side of the town. And they're going to do go-kart racing inside. And you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Actually, if they remember, if you're a long-time subscriber, we raised go-karts. It was like, what, 2018? Long time ago. 
2017? It was a I long time you, ago. Way you lost, I had the fastest time around the track, which means I win. Yes? Yes or yes? So, okay, I don't so remember that. She, had, she finished the lap before me, but I had the fastest time of the day, so I won. That's how, that's how it works. You win. I'm probably going to get the fastest lap time, and I'm going to pass the finish on the So now she has a GoPro as well. I have my little helmet mount. I'm going to face mine backwards so I can see the entire time, because it's in front of me. I would just see open track. So... We're gonna go get lunch at the TTA factory real fast. You're uh, about to get sauce. What are you talking I'm, about? I'm trying to record the thing right here. Uh, TTA factory, then go kart racing, and then just do some more exploring. I'm here for a few more days, and it's really, really cool just to see uh, this part of the world again. I never thought I'd be over here, but here we are. Very, very cool. And the weather. Normally, I would say it was hot, but it feels so nice. Coming from Germany, where it's been like 30s and 40s and just raining all the time, so now nice sunshine every day. It's a uh, very nice improvement. We got a polo. There's not a whole lot. I mean, I see they have like the newer Passatas taxis and I see Mark 6 Jettas a lot, but anything older than Mark 6 Jetta, haven't seen. No Mark 5, no 4s, none of that. So we're on the hunt for a Golf 3 ultimately, but we'll see what we find. We're looking for a Mark 4. We don't want to see Mark 4s. We do. We don't want to see Mark 3s. We want to see the Mark 3s. Okay. This parking garage is like crazy tight as well. Yeah, hopefully I've seen a couple. I mean, I've seen a lot of BRZs, like actually ones that are modified. But for Volkswagens, not so many. I also saw a GTR one night. A lot of Panameras and uh, those kind of cars, like expensive, like Range Rovers and stuff. But I want to say Golf 3. Ooh, this is tight. We're good, though. You just hear terrible scraping. Right? <laughs> Out into the desert we go. Like, actually. Also, driving here goes from normal roads to this real fast. A lot of construction. Like, all this. And most of the roads are gone. But I need to go left. Is it rerouting me again? Oh, well, that's gonna take you into that crazy. Yeah, we can't. Zone. That's that's a no go. We tried that yesterday. That's a no go. I know I can go this way. Let's just go left. We'll go this way. It's a lot of just, you know, find your own route wherever you want to drive. Oh, at least we're back onto like paved road. Yeah, for a second. We'll go this way. We'll see who's gonna cut left because I need to be on the right side. Yep, I'm going this way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Yep, everyone's honking. It's fine. My corner. Oh, we made it. Yeah, missed the light, but we made it. Gotta sit at the three minute light. All these lights are forever. They saw last time. Well, I don't know if I filmed it last time. I don't know if I filmed it now. When I was lost the first night I was here, I got to a light, just me, 2 30 in the morning, spent five minutes sitting there. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Woo! That's nice. I wouldn't want to drive that car around these roads because there's just no rules, but it looks nice. Yeah, yeah. No it turns out it's happening from the side by. It's cool. Risk your car, it's fine. This man is brave driving his GT3 RS out here. I think it's sick though, the black and green. It's loud. No, it's quiet. So it's like we're at Disneyland, but we're in a mall. This mall is massive. So this is where we'll do go-karts at. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. Smoke you. Backwards facing GoPro the whole time. But this is wild. Like all inside a mall. This is crazy, like Disney World. Oh, you're finna get whooped. Oh, it's just me and you, 1v1? That's what I'm saying, good night. Shoot, you finna get whooped. And no, you, and, and no excuses, I know someone got in your way. This is sick all to ourselves. This is gonna be sick. Good to go. All right, we got ready to win. No. All right, number 10. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Is mine going? You check. Yeah, it's going. It's going. Oh, he put me behind you? Shoot. All right, well, you got the advantage for me, sorry.
butter. She done got spun out. Make sure she didn't break it. <laughs> Wait. All right, we're good. I'll take them. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, you cheated. Hate to say it, she got us by just a little bit. Still full, though. No. My defense, though, our very first lap, my seat slid backwards and I could barely reach my pedal, but still. I put mine in the koozie, okay? My wife is a race car driver and now I owe you ice cream. These are fun, though. But my oh, arms, dude, stress. my hazy is kind of red. My arms are tired. But yeah, my seat slid backwards, so here's what it is. We lost by only like two tenths, though. Not that big a deal, but still. I had a race car driver wife. Can't really complain. My arms are so tired. He said the fastest record time ever is a 24. So we were like two seconds, two and a half seconds off that. All right, go ahead. Get up on there. Oh, go ahead. Get a pose. Get a pose. Yeah. Look how small second and third are. First place is huge. I get my second place. I'll take it. She's a champ. You did good. You did good. Uh, excuse me. Oh, also, you guys know my favorite Ferrari is a Ferrari F50. The closest I'll get to having one, even says F50 on the bottom. The closest I'll ever get to having an F50. One day. Dang. Dang. In the race. This looks amazing. Finally found one. Mark 5 Jetta. I saw this here fast. Is that a GLI? It has a GLI wheels. A little bit beat up on the sides but it's fine look at that our first mark 5 still have yet to see a single anything besides all oh, oh, this is a mark 5 now no mark 4 i've seen more gt3 rs porsches <laughs> than i've seen mark 4 mark 3 golf but look at that we found ourselves our first mark 5 jetta and i'm pretty sure it's a gli or it has a gli wheels but it's missing the spoiler probably not a gli but still good old mark 5 aside from the mark 5 look what we found important stop of the evening. Uh, Toys R Us still open and they're open to 11. It's only 10 there right now so going inside. I want a Hot Wheels car from over here but the sea of Toys R Us still open and kicking. That's awesome and to see like Toys R Us and Arabic that's pretty cool. So Toys R Us stop. Look at this store. I haven't been to Toys R Us in forever and this is what I wanted to see. It's also crazy because like almost everything here is in English and also Arabic, but everyone speaks English. There's all the American like stores. It's very westernized. You have this? I don't have that. Look at that. All the Fast and Furious ones? Yeah. I like that one. These are sweet too. Yeah. Are there any individual ones or just the cases? Uh, this is fine if not. I like this one. Yeah. Ooh. McLaren F1 LM. I like that a lot. Oh, there's one over here too. A couple small ones. 
Yeah, I've been toes dressing forever, and this is awesome. Ooh, look at that. That's a like this one. This is Germany on it, too. Yeah, it's got toes. That's cool. I think this looks cool. Look at that. Not a bad score. Look at that. Mark 1 GTI. Let's say year? 1976. That's so cool. <laughs> we got cars. Uh, Toys R Us. Good stop. Good stop. We're going to McDonald's over there, but we saw this and had to stop. Boys, we got a Mark 6R. Look at that. Not bad. Also, this McDonald's is popping. There is like on that side at least 150 people just chilling outside, playing cards, hitting drinks. Like McDonald's is a spot, would you say? Yeah. Definitely the spot. Yeah. Look at that. Mark 6R in the blue. Not steal it. bad. Yeah, we can steal that's fine. I don't mind. Like, would you like our Elantra, sir? <laughs> we'll trade you the blue Elantra for your blue R. I'll never know the difference. So it's been quite the busy day. We've been literally all over the place, but I had to stop by a Volkswagen of guitar. Let's see what they uh what they got here. It's like a Mark 8 GTI. Really? That's what's that? Yeah, back there. Check that out. Still haven't seen anything older than a Mark 5. That's a Mark 6 over here. Should just parked on his tow truck. <laughs> right next to Audi as well. I just want to park. Hello, is there a parking spot somewhere? Yeah. Look. Grab it. GTI racing. Kind of cool. Oh, it's a club sport. But it has like smaller wheels, I think. I don't know. Kind of cool though. I like the little spoil in the back. The little lip back here. Not sure if that's factory or like an added option. Another Mark VI Jetta. Some Passats. Like I said, nothing older than a Mark V yet, but maybe we'll get lucky. Nice uh, SQ8 up here. Oh, RSQ8, I think sick. You see this? The RSQ8. The brakes on these things are ginormous. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that caliber. That's like an eight, I don't know if they made eight piston, but Jeez. looks to be the size. That has to be like an 18 inch, just carbon ceramic disc. Maybe bigger. That's like a 22 inch wheel. Maybe your 22s. It's the biggest oh, carbon ceramic it ever. Oh, is it really? Oh, it's an op one. Look at that. Opt RS Kuwait over here in the Middle East. This thing is baller. I like that. So over here they have these ones, which looks to be an Atlas, but uh, I guess this market, I guess the um, Middle Eastern market, I would say it is. They're called the uh, Terramont, you can see that. It's the Terramont, same exact body style, same engines and everything, but no Atlas over here. Volkswagen Terramont. Kind of sounds cooler than Atlas, a little bit. It does sound pretty cool. Ooh, Mark 8 GTI in red. I like the red. And it's a four-door, that's a plus. It's not bad. We've seen the GTE, and I've seen a lot of GTDs, but never like up close in person on a Mark 8 GTI. That red's nice. It's like a metallic... Almost reminds me of memory red off the Golf 3s. 
I'm a fan. I said for them being out like these cars and they do look pretty good. It looks like memory red, very, very close to it. Or like uh, I think matchstick red is another one. There it is. Showroom plate. Terramont. I want that plate. Look at this one. Like this one? This color? Yeah, like that. It nice. Look at the cool showroom plates, the Terramont plates. Ooh, see, there's that red again. This color is nice. This one's got the nicer seats, so look at that. Oh, that's cool. A little Vosek and badge in the corner. Those seats are cleared out. Cool. Copper open. Oh, with the fire extinguisher in the front? Just what? in case it gets a little saucy. Yeah, it's factory. Um, pretty cool. I imagine so. These seats aren't bad. I like them. It's kind of, I don't know if I like it. It's kind of too like race car -y. Again, this in this colorway. It was all black and then just had red stitching. That'd be cool. It's not bad though. In the back match, it does. Yeah, it does. These are cool. Door cards are kind of boring. I could have had more here, I think. Oh, this doesn't feel very nice. It's kind of kind of cheapy. I don't know if I like that or not. But I love this color. Like this. Yes. And... All right, you get that one. I'll get this one. We're good. I don't want this. It's too big. Would you like this nice teak? Actually, yeah. See, like this, these door cards are nice. I thought the GTI had better door cards. They seem cheapy. This one's a little better. Just kidding. Forget the GTI. This, this is where it's at. It's like a metallic tan with the black wheels. Yep. This is a. Yeah. This is it. This is the one I want. This is beautiful. This is what I want right here. Beautiful. Yeah, this is uh, the new Touareg. Oh, this one is too good. Even like the all cherry taillights with the tan. It's like this really nice like metallic. Yep, this is it. This is the one. I'll take this one right here. I will take this one right here. That was cool though. And also we found one Mark VI Jetta in the showroom, but that's like the oldest car like both they sell here. Like all this, like Mark VI and up. We've seen some Mark Vs on the road. Um, but I like dealerships. There's like nothing older than Mark Sick, which is wild. And still, no Golf Four, no Golf Three at all. Like not a single one. I've seen three Scirocco's, white, blue, and a green one. Um, but like I said, I've seen more Porsches and Lamborghinis and Range Rovers than I've seen a Volkswagen, which is, which is wild. I mean, not counting these ones here. This doesn't really count. Like on the road. I've seen way more high-end cars than like basic Volkswagens, which is wild. But there's a million, a million V8 cars. I've seen more V8 cars here in the past four days than I've seen in Germany in three years. Like all the uh, Toyota Land Cruisers, um, everything has a V8 and it's awesome. This place is one place that's not going to EV. I can promise you that. Everyone's got a Range Rover V8, Porsche, Toyota Land Cruiser, Defender, whatever it is, everything has a V8 here and it's kind of cool. I love it. And driving here is very uh, aggressive. It's just there's no blinkers, there's no rules, you just go. And I kind of love it. Kind of sucks at the same time, but I kind of love it. You guys know I love Mountain Dew. And the Mountain Dew here is amazing. It's almost like sweeter and a bit smoother than at home, and the can looks cool. So today's my last full day here. I leave tomorrow morning, but one more stop, Mall of Qatar. This is like the biggest one I think here. And we're also, we realized there's so much construction here because next year the World Cup's gonna be here. People will come here next year, which is why they're doing so much construction, all the hotels, all the streets. Um, when it's done, I mean, this place already is a beautiful place. But once all construction's done, it's real nice. And we're thinking we might come back next year for the, uh, the World Cup because honestly, like, I like this place. It feels very much like America. There's all the stores, everything's in English. Everyone speaks English. It's very just like inviting and friendly. and. I like it here. We, we might have to have see to... Germany win again too. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a, a nice summer home here in the oh, middle yeah. of the desert. I like it though. I mean, there's no Volkswagen here, but you could change that. I will bring the Volkswagen life to uh <laughs> to the Wait, Middle are you East. Say what you said earlier again. What? Oh, I said I wanted to see a Golf Four. I haven't. We have to do no Golf Three, no so you Golf Fours. See Mark IV, oh, there's that sign. That's one. I am Qatar. Look at that. It's pretty fancy. But yes, I do want to see a Mark Four or a Mark Three, whichever one I see first. There's just none out here. Good thing. This mall is massive. It's like an airport. We've seen some big malls so far, like the uh, Festival City, 
What was the other one? Oh, oh the Bellagio. Bellagio. Also massive, but this one. Bro, they take shopping here very seriously. Uh, Welcome to the jungle. Good grief. So this is a mall. <laughs> you know what would be really intense if you played hide and go seek in here? Yeah, I would. You'd never find it. This is wild. Oh, there it is. Out back, up top. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. Let's go. Um. Come on. Well, I've left you. This, uh, this Sir. out back. This outback has an elevator. This is awesome. <laughs> it has like a motor power speed. Shoot. What in the world? And right here. After you. Not bad. Not. Not bad, though, bug. Not bad. So now we've been to Outback in South Korea and now Outback in Qatar. We would go to Germany, but they don't have one. They don't have one. Like I said, they have, look at this, there's a Hardee's. Hardee's, there's a Dairy Queen, Papa John's, Hollywood Star. I mean, they have like all the food. There's a Baskin Robbins over there. All the American food. I love it. I had like 10 people remind me and I didn't forget. Gotta do a backflip everywhere we go. Can't forget. Good? My turn's next. <laughs> one, two, three. Solid. Everywhere we go. Oh, we are on top. Look at that. This place is crazy fancy. Look at this. This is the highest, or if not one of the highest buildings in Qatar. And we're on a date. <laughs> <laughs> this place is awesome. You can see like literally everything internet search 980 feet and this the torch this is the tallest structure in doha so this right here we're getting the highest spot in the entire country on a date with all our snacks this is so cool this was built in 2006 for the uh the asian games flame this is the highest spot still uh positioned for the uh the games flame ever so pretty cool and actually the stadium's like right over to the the right but there it is the highest view you can get in Doha. So we were just up there by that ledge. Actually, that ledge is a pool, uh, but there's 57 floors, right? 51. 51. We were only on 21, which is right there, but we thought we were way higher than we were. But there's 51 floors, 980 feet. I think it's massive. All right, my friends, we are finally home. Feels good to be back. And this video has been pretty lengthy so far, so we'll keep the ending uh, quick. Very good to see my wife. I've missed her like crazy. We've done four months out of her six months. She has about two and a half left, and she's finally coming back home, and I cannot wait. Um, guitar was super awesome. Honestly, like it feels like a second America, basically. There's all the restaurants, all the stores, everyone speaks English, everything's in English, which is kind of weird. But honestly, I loved it over there, loved the weather. Driving is like controlled chaos. There's no turn signals. Everyone just kind of goes everywhere, but it works. I didn't see one accident. It was just kind of like awesome. I don't know. I loved it, had a good time. Hopefully you enjoyed the bits I got to show you. A uh, very, very cool place, which I think we'll go back to next year for the World Cup. It was just a cool place to be, and we really enjoyed it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.